Thank you, Mr. Chairman. I thank the ranking member as well. And thank you, Madam Chair, for appearing today. I would like to visit with you very briefly about proxy access. Um, as you know, the proxy is something that many shareholders, major shareholders, seek to have an opportunity to impact. Uh, the proxy would give shareholders an opportunity to nominate candidates. And uh, I'm concerned and interested, if you will, in where we are with proxy access currently. Well, as you know, there was a rulemaking overturned by the D.C. Circuit. Um, uh, but what wasn't overturned by the D.C. Circuit was our four, Rule 14A8, which uh, permits shareholder proposals uh, to be uh, at least to be sought to be put on the ballot. And this season, we've had, you know, a great a great many of those. I think almost a hundred actually have been submitted. So there, so you have a lot of private ordering that's you know going on with respect to uh, proxy access. Uh, there's been a fair amount of attention on it in this particular season, I think, because of a no action ruling that the staff made. And then uh, I directed them to review the issue more broadly. And we're not actually issuing uh, decisions on that particular exclusion uh, in this proxy season. But there's been, you know, there's been a lot of what I would call private ordering movement in the proxy access space. And we're, you know, very closely following that. There's not a, a you know, a mandatory rule, but there's a lot of private ordering going on. Will you be moving forward to produce um, a rule that um, that uh, will cover these issues uh, in the near future? I, I don't have any uh, uh, current intention to do that. As I say, we, there's been a lot of activity in the space that we're monitoring very carefully. A um, number of proposals have actually succeeded, uh, whether by ballot or by way of negotiation with companies. Uh, so we're before we would make any decision, you know, we're going to we're watching that very closely and analyzing it. Thank you. Let's move now to um, your real, your most meaningful, I suppose, responsibilities. You are, as it is often said, the cop on the beat. And uh, currently, you oversee 11,500 investment advisors, 9,000 public companies, over 800 investment company complexes managing over 10,000 mutual funds. You um, manage about 4,400 broker-dealers, 450 transfer agents, 18 national security exchanges, 87 alternative trading systems, 10 registered clearing agencies. A lot of responsibility. And with all of that responsibility, you do need the cooperation of Congress. And you have so much as indicated today that um, you um, appreciate the support from this committee. Uh, what is it that you would like the committee to do to uh, further support these efforts to maintain your position as a cop on the beat that is effective? I, I think, again, the issue that most concerns me um, is having the adequate resources to be that very strong cop on the beat. Um, part of being, it's not the cop on the beat, it's the compliance examiner on the beat that's also so important to keeping that bar of compliance where it should be to protect investors and the markets. I have spoken earlier in response to other questions about uh, the need, uh, I feel the compelling need uh, to um, meet that gap in coverage at the examination level. Uh, but clearly that you know, carries through. Uh, to our enforcement function as well. You have indicated, I believe, by way of uh, the administration that you are in need of $222 million as an increase for FY 2015. How crucial is that $222 million? Uh, it is critical to us. Uh, it, it, and we've, you know, we've, I, I spent a lot of time on this uh, for exactly where I think we need it uh, and could use it wisely in terms of being able to hire who we need to to meet our you know our, our duties and, and I appreciate the the support we have gotten but it is you know we are in a position where we really need significant additional resources we've tried to be very surgical about what we've asked for let me thank you for your service um, I know that you have a very tough job but I do think that you're going about it in an appropriate manner uh, thank you, and I yield back.